The Nazi Olympics are back, but this time they're not in Berlin, but Beijing. They've been dubbed the Genocide Games, and rightfully so. In 1936, we allowed a despotic government guilty of one of the worst crimes against humanity in modern history to host the Olympic Games. We watched as the Games were actively hijacked and exploited to prop up a dictator and bolster his support. We witnessed the Games being used as a backdrop to whitewash and polish the reputation of a tyrannical and racist regime and legitimize its standing on the world stage. A regime that would go on only some four years later to murder six million Jews in the Holocaust. Fast forward to 2022, we all look back in horror at the images of the Nazi Games and vow to never repeat such a historical catastrophe. We bemoan the slogan, never again, time and time again. Yet here we are today, doing the same exact thing again. You don't have to look far to notice the striking similarities between the 1936 Nazi Olympics in Berlin and the 2022 Olympics in Beijing. The Beijing Olympics are being conducted by a regime guilty of mass atrocities, ethnic cleansing and systematic genocide, just like the Nazis. The Beijing Olympics are being hosted by a government guilty of placing millions of innocent civilians into concentration camps, just like the Nazis. The Beijing Olympics are being used to bolster support for and legitimize a government guilty of some of the world's most inhumane policies and human rights abuses, just like the Nazis. And the Beijing Olympics are being held in a nation that operates mass surveillance practices to suppress ethnic groups and prevent people from speaking out, just like the Nazis. Really, the only major difference between the two is that the Berlin Games happen in summer, while the Beijing Games are happening in winter. And that the genocide committed by the Nazis was predominantly against the Jews. The Chinese government's genocide is against the Uyghur Muslims. And while the Nazi concentration camps were in places like Auschwitz, Chinese concentration camps are in Chinese-occupied East Turkestan. And while the Nazis gassed the Jews to rid them from the world, China is using forced abortion, sterilization, torture and rape. It's frightening to think that we, as an international community, learned nothing from history. The Nazi Olympics propelled Adolf Hitler's popularity and authority to heights like never before. One is left wondering exactly how much of the legitimacy afforded to Hitler's regime during the Olympics helped facilitate the gassing of six million Jews four years later. It's an absolute shame and speaks volumes of the moral bankruptcy of the International Olympic Committee to go through with these games. And whilst it is true that many governments have spoken out and vowed to conduct a meager diplomatic boycott, this is nowhere near enough. It wasn't enough in 1936, and it sure isn't enough today. I call all those who actually do care about what is happening to the Uyghurs, along with all those oppressed by the Chinese regime, to continue to raise awareness of the atrocities. Speak out against the concentration camps in East Turkestan, just like we spoke against the camps in places like Auschwitz. Urge our governments to recognize the illegal Chinese occupation of East Turkestan and the genocide that is taking place. Contact and support the Uyghur community near you. Join in protests in front of the Chinese embassies, the United Nations and the International Olympic Committee. And at the very least, boycott Beijing and the Genocide Games.